Hi, I'm Charles Stewart Jr. and I'm going to tell you how to back up data from a dead computer to a new one. Um, first thing to prevent this from happening period is to, uh, it's smart to either get an extra internal drive or uh, external drive for you to keep all your personal files and um, you know, uh, you, any music uh, videos that you download, stuff like that, uh, just to have as a backup. And then there's also backup software that you can have uh, to you know, back up to that drive, just to make sure that if a computer dies on you, you're not left, without, um, not left in this situation. But most of the time, you haven't done it, so you are in this situation, and that's what we're going to show you. Um, what you'll want to do is you'll want to take the hard drive out of this computer and move it over to this one. Um, basically, because if this thing's dead, that's all you can really do with it. If it's not the hard drive's fault, if the, you know, you, the, you found out that it's the, the motherboard or the processor, something's dead, uh, and the hard drive is still good, then you'll move that hard drive out of here and move it into your new or other computer you have. And it's pretty simple. Um, I would, you know, go through the motions, but every case is different, so it'd be kind of pointless. So if you look at it, you can find out just by removing, you know, the, the uh, screws and stuff and pulling all the stuff off. And just as a note, make sure your computer is unplugged when you're doing any of this stuff. And uh, also make sure you're grounded in some way so you're not giving an accidental static discharge into the equipment and shorting it out and destroying it. So once you get that out, you pretty much put it in here. As you can see, there's other bays so you can have um, put another internal and when you go to boot it up um, you'll probably see the operating system will tell you there's two versions of Windows because they're both bootable uh, drives uh, you'll want to stay on the current drive that you have which would probably be the C drive and boot into your your current version or your old version if you want to uh, but I would boot into your current version of Windows that's on your new computer and then access that drive and pull off the information you need and then maybe format it so you can uh, you know take that uh, you know save that and use that drive for something else um, or you can save both versions on there to boot into either one and whatever you like and that's pretty much it for uh, backing up um, data from a broken computer onto a new one